All right, so in this video, we're going to start talking about the modulus operator, which deals with integer, division, and remainders. Um, so, for example, if we have the problem here, we want to say maybe just simply C out 5 divided by 2, and then in that line. When we build this program, um, we're going to see what happens here. When you first look at this, you might think, well, yeah, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 but it's giving us this, this answer of 2. And so the reason it's doing that is because we're dealing with integer division. We have an integer divided by an integer, and so it's going to return an integer. So basically, this uh, the answer to that is, well, yeah, 2 goes into 5 twice, which is 2 here, and then it has a remainder of 1. But in integer division, it just cuts out the remainder completely and just gives you this number, right? The number of times it actually goes in. So if we wanted to say, well, that's OK. Um, well, we can find out that, but we that doesn't give us the remainder. So if we want to find the remainder, we have to use the modulus symbol, the modulus operator. So what this basically does is we can do the same thing down here. Um, you can the percent sign, just modulus operator, two, and then again, and line. So if we run this program, um, here we go. We're going to see that, well, it prints a two and then a one. So these are doing two different things. The division, the division operator here, only return, you know, it returns everything but the remainder. Uh, and then the modulus operator here only returns the remainder. So yeah, two goes into five two times completely and then with a remainder of one. So sometimes this is, you know, sometimes this can be useful. Um, for example, any even number, uh, let's say, yeah, let's just delete this whole line up here. Um, so let's say we had, you know, a really big number or it's a variable or something, we don't know what it is. Um, but for example, Oops. <laughs> um, we're going to have a number like this. Sorry, Sorry we didn't know what it was. But if we take uh, any number in the modulus 2, what it's going to do is if it's even, we're going to we're going to get 0, right? Because there is no remainder, you know, an even number divided by 2 doesn't have a remainder versus if it was an odd number, then, you know, we're not going to get a 0 in the remainder. But, you know, that's not always what you want to do. Um, maybe what we could do something a little more practical is we could say perhaps uh, we want to find out how many days and years there are in a, or days and mm, weeks there are in a year sure because it doesn't really go in evenly it's not a perfect 12 like months so let's say see out the number of weeks in a year is um, and make sure we make this a string that was my bad and then what we can do is um, we can say well, there's 365 days, uh, and there's seven days in a week, and then there we go. And then we'll go ahead and end the line. And then we can say again, see out um, the number of, you know, leftover days is, or let's say days in a year is, we'll finish that string, and then we can say 365 um, modulus 7. So I'm going to end this line and go like that. So what this is saying is we know that there's 7 days in a week so if we divide 365, 365 by 7 it's going to give us you know the perfect uh, the, you know the amount of times that evenly goes in and then it's going to cut out the remainder which is going to be a few leftover days probably and then we can say uh, if we do this, um, if we use the modulus sign, um, basically it's going to do the same kind of division, but it's going to only give us the remainder. So we'll see what the difference is here. Um, let's go ahead and run this. And when we run it, it says the number of weeks in a year is 52, and the number of leftover days in a year is 1. So that makes sense. If you multiplied 52 by 7, uh, we would get 364, and then the last you know, the last day just completes the year. So there is, um, you know, some applications where the modulus operator is pretty handy, stuff like that. Um, and only, the other thing I'd like to say about it is it only works with integers or integer, you know, types of variables, kind of, or similar things. Um, like, for example, if I was, you know, dividing real numbers, you know, with decimal places, they don't have remainders, you know, because they would just, you know, round up to decimal places and stuff like that. So, just remember to use modulus, only use it with integers.